Welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional, Prepare the Way by Joe Engelkemeyer. Today's reading is February the 14th, The Love That Unites. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. 1 Peter 4 verse 8. During the ten days of seeking the Lord which preceded Pentecost, the believers came close together in Christian fellowship. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit brought them even closer. Of their experience at this time, inspiration records, they rejoiced in the sweetness of communion with saints. They were tender, thoughtful, self-denying, willing to make any sacrifice for the truth's sake. In their daily association with one another, they revealed the love that Christ had enjoined upon them. The Acts of the Apostles, page 547. The obstacles from without are as nothing compared to the obstacles that exist within the church. It is the evils within that most hinder the progress of God's cause. Note Inspiration There is no surer way of weakening spirituality than by cherishing envy, suspicion, fault-finding, and evil surmising. On the other hand, the strongest witness that God has sent His Son into the world is the existence of harmony and union among men of varied dispositions who form His Church. Acts of the Apostles, page 549 Are there envy and suspicion upon your campus or within your church? Is there fault-finding? Is there evil surmising? You don't know for sure that this person or that one is doing thus and thus, but you surmise it. As young people, do you ever find yourself surmising evil concerning your parents, your teachers? Are they to you simply the establishment? As parents, as teachers, has there been evil surmising against varied ones of your young people? Have you forgotten that suspicion demoralizes, creating the very evils you are guarding against? These attitudes must go. We may not see all things alike, but remember, the strongest witness you can give of the power of Christ is for there to be harmony and union among men of varied dispositions. Self must die. Are you willing? And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. 1 Peter 4, verse 8. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you for being our God, our Lord, our Ruler, our Judge. We praise Christ for being our Savior for being our Advocate, our High Priest, the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, the one to guide us and lead us to help us understand the Word. Lord, we confess once again that we are ashes, dust, clay, sinners who have fallen short of your glory. But Lord, we claim your righteousness, your merits, the merits of Christ to cover our sins. We claim for the Holy Spirit to abide in us and cleanse us from our sins that carry us forward. Forgive us. Clean us, Lord. And Lord, when you do this work in us, we're praying, of course, for revival and reformation for our church. We are praying, Lord, for you to make us one, on one accord. And when you do this, we're praying, of course, Lord, for there to be love. For us to come to unity. Once again, not at the sake of compromise, but unity because of the love of fellowship, the love of the brethren, one for another. This is such a grand concept, a grand topic that we can't really fathom it, understand it once again. But Lord, you know what you want. It is clear that your desire is for harmony. Your desire is for unity. And we, on our own, our own cannot do it. We depend on you. We pray then, Lord, for you to start with us. To show us the things that are once again hindering, the things that are not of you, 
that keep unity out of your church. Remove it from me, Lord. Remove it from your church. Be with us all. Help us be able to come together in Bible study. Come together in prayer, in fellowship, in evangelism. And use your word. Use your promises to bring us together. Not simply political correctness. We're not praying for that at all. We're praying for that true unity that the Holy Spirit brings when people come together to worship, to praise you, to know what is thus said the Lord. Work that out, Lord. We thank you. We praise you so people can look at your church and see a perfect representation of you. This is our prayer. This is what we claim. In the merits, the blood of Jesus, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.